Aptera Gamma Prototype SUV has finally made its public debut in San Diego, after a long journey of more than 15 years. This startup has been working hard to bring its three-wheeled solar electric vehicle on the road. The latest teardrop-shaped prototype is an eye-catching vehicle, and it comes from the latest incarnation of Aptera Motors. The company began as accelerated composites in the early 90s, but it ran out of funds in 2011. After a few years, it relaunched with the aim to deliver a two-seater, three-wheeled solar electric vehicle that can roll for up to 40 miles 65 kilometers, per day without needing to plug in. Aptera Motors is aiming for a 1,000-mile 1, km overall per-charge driving range thanks to an efficient electric drivetrain, a slippery aero design, and the use of lightweight composite materials. I think it is exciting to see new entrants in the electric vehicle market, especially ones that are pushing the boundaries of design and technology. Aptera's focus on solar-powered electric vehicles is unique and could be a game-changer in the industry. The fact that the vehicle can travel up to 40 miles per day without needing to plug in is impressive, and the 1,000-mile overall per-charge driving range would be a significant milestone in electric vehicle technology. I am excited to see what the future holds for Aptera Motors and the Aptera Gamma Prototype SUV. Boom Supersonic, an aerospace company striving to create the world's fastest and most eco-friendly supersonic airliner, has unveiled a new engine concept for its Overture Supersonic Airliner. The company has partnered with three industry leaders, namely Florida Turbine Technologies, FTT, G Additive, and Standard Aero, to develop the new propulsion system for its Overture airliner. The engine is named Symphony, and it will be a medium bypass turbofan engine with no afterburner and the same basic engine architecture used in all modern commercial aircraft. However, it will differ from subsonic turbofans in several ways, including a boom designed axisymmetric supersonic intake, a variable geometry long noise exhaust nozzle, and a passively cooled high pressure turbine. This new engine concept marks a significant step forward in the development of the Overture supersonic airliner. The Da Vinci DC100, a cutting-edge robotic electric motorcycle, recently made its debut at CES 2023. Boasting a sleek and futuristic design, this bike packs a powerful punch in terms of performance, rivaling traditional 1,000 cubic centimeters motorcycles. With its advanced suite of computer chips and sensors, the Da Vinci DC100 offers a range of special features, including self-balancing technology, target recognition, and remote control capabilities. But that's not all, the bike also includes unique technologies like the Hillstar Assist control feature, which can hold the bike on a steep incline and creep at a speed of 5 km per hour for up to 5 seconds. With an acceleration of 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3 seconds and a top speed of 200 km per hour, the Da Vinci DC100 certainly doesn't disappoint when it comes to performance. And with a 17.7 kWh battery providing 135 horsepower and maximum torque of 850 newtons, the bike offers an impressive range of around 357 km and can be charged in just 30 minutes. According to Rosanna Libia, Da Vinci Motor International Business Manager, CES 2023 is an important event for the company as they strive to establish themselves as a tech-driven brand in the US and around the world. As a tech enthusiast, I find the Da Vinci DC100's unique features and impressive performance quite intriguing. I look forward to seeing how this bike evolves and what innovations Da Vinci will bring to the market in the future. Have you heard about the Embra Repulse concept? It's an incredible aircraft that's both a plane and a car. When I first heard about it, it immediately reminded me of the dropship in the 1986 movie, Aliens. The dropship was a military vehicle that landed vertically, loaded with marines and weapons, and then drove out before taking off again vertically. But the Pulse concept is quite different from that, it's not designed for military use, and it's much more elegant. This futuristic aircraft has a joint wing twin tilt rotor, which makes it capable of electric vertical takeoff and landing. It's designed to carry a roomy pod with plush seating for up to five passengers, which is really impressive. Emberger's engineering and design team came up with the concept to demonstrate how electric vertical takeoff and landing flying may evolve in the next 50 years, and it's truly impressive. 
What's even more amazing is that both the aircraft and its ground vehicle operate autonomously, so there's no crew or unnecessary staff, except maybe a ticket agent to usher passengers into the glass pod. The pod itself offers near 360-degree visibility, thanks to its use of transparent aluminum alloys, and it has interactive panels that allow for text and other smartphone-like connectivity, as well as post-flight information. Overall, I think the Ember Repulse concept is an amazing invention that showcases what's possible in the future of flight. It's an exciting glimpse into what we can expect in the years to come, and I can't wait to see how this technology develops even further. IBM has made a big leap in the field of quantum computing by unveiling its latest processor, the Osprey. With an impressive 433 qubits, the Osprey is the most powerful quantum processor in the world, surpassing the previous record of 216 qubits held by Xanadu's Borealis. IBM's own Eagle, which was announced just last year, had only 127 qubits. The new chip is part of a series of advances in quantum computing that the company has announced as it gears up for a major leap forward next year. Traditional computers, which have served us well for decades, are becoming outdated compared to quantum computers. Unlike traditional computers, which use binary bits, zeros and ones, to store and process data, quantum computers use qubits that can be both zero and one at the same time. This exponential increase in processing power for each added qubit allows quantum computers to perform calculations that are impossible for conventional computers. The power of IBM's Osprey is impressive and exciting for the future of quantum computing. As the technology continues to advance, the potential for solving complex problems and creating new innovations is truly limitless. It will be fascinating to see how this cutting-edge technology will continue to evolve and shape our world in the years to come. Meet Luna, the new adorable pet bot that is making its way into our hearts. Designed to be a smart home companion, Luna has the potential to connect with people of all ages. It's fascinating how we, as humans, are constantly creating new technology to help us stay connected with others. Luna appears to be the perfect halfway point between the adorableness of Anki's Cosmo and Amazon's high-end Astro Home Buy. Although there is a definite focus on younger users, Luna's charm is sure to capture the attention of people of all ages. The design of Luna is both sleek and stylish, making her an aesthetically pleasing addition to any home. One unique feature of Luna is that she has been designed to interact well with any analog pets you may already have. This is an innovative feature that sets Luna apart from other pet bots. The potential for Luna as a companion is exciting, and it's hard not to be won over by her charms. As someone who loves technology and has an affinity for pets, I find Luna to be an interesting innovation that could enhance our lives in unique ways. I can't wait to see what the future holds for Luna and the exciting possibilities that may arise from this adorable pet bot. Nissan's Maxout electric convertible concept has become a reality, and it looks just as impressive in person as it did in the initial renderings. The company unveiled the physical version of the Max Out at its Nissan Futures event, held at its global headquarters in Yokohama, Japan. The Max Out is certainly a head-turner, and it looks like it could find a home in Nissan's motorsports lineup. Nissan's ambitious five-year, $17.6 billion electrification strategy, announced in November 2021, included the Max Out concept, among several other futuristic designs. It's exciting to see that Nissan is turning these bold concepts into reality. The Max Out will be on display for several weeks during the Nissan Futures event, giving visitors a chance to see the stunning electric convertible up close. As more and more automakers shift their focus to electric vehicles, it's great to see Nissan pushing the envelope with such innovative designs. Have you heard about Goodyear's latest innovation in tire design? They created something truly unique and futuristic that's sure to turn heads, spherical tires. Specifically made for Citroën's urban collective concept car, these Goodyear Eagle 360 wheels are a bold creation that features small electric motors and allow for full 360-degree motion capability. These spherical tires have been placed at all four corners of the Citroën urban collective concept vehicle, which is a joint project between Citroën, Accord, and JCD Cone. 
The vehicle itself is a revolutionary mobility concept built upon the Citroen Skate platform, which is essentially an electric powertrain hooked up to various autonomous functions. This skateboard-like vehicle incorporates self-driving capabilities and a daring, futuristic design. One of the standout features of this concept car is the Advanced Comfort Hydraulic Cushion Suspension, which is equipped with motorized spherical wheels that allow for smooth and agile movement. It's incredible to think about how these spherical tires could revolutionize the way we think about driving and mobility in the future. Overall, I think the Goodyear Eagle 360 wheels are a fantastic example of how innovation and creativity can come together to create something truly groundbreaking. It's exciting to think about how these spherical tires could be used in the future, and I can't wait to see what other innovations the automotive industry will come up with next. Panama has become the site of a groundbreaking innovation, the world's first floating pod homes, with prices starting at $295,000. These luxury smart homes are equipped with underwater marine detection cameras and were delivered by drones. The first pod was recently launched at Linton Bay Marina in Cologne, with plans for more than 1,000 of these eco-restorative homes to be produced next year. The company behind this invention is Ocean Builders, specializing in marine technology, who say the pods are designed to accommodate two people and are perched three meters above sea level on the Caribbean coast of Panama. The units are on sale now, and by December, the first overnight guests will be able to stay in the pods. There are also plans for 100 fully owned units to be available for full-time residents by next summer. While the sea pods certainly offer a unique living experience, there are concerns about the potential impact on the environment and the ecosystem of the surrounding waters. However, if done responsibly and sustainably, this could be a game-changer for those seeking an alternative living experience. Overall, it's exciting to see innovative ideas being put into practice, and it will be interesting to see how this project develops in the coming years. I'm excited to share with you the latest news about Wingcopter. This innovative German company has just signed a groundbreaking deal to deploy an incredible 12,000 of its long-range, triple-drop delivery drones across Africa in the next five years, which will be the largest commercial drone deployment in history. The Wingcopter 198 is an impressive machine, with a wingspan of 198 centimeters, 78 inches, and the ability to carry up to 6 kilograms, 13.2 pounds, of cargo. It's a beautifully designed drone that features eight propellers mounted on arms extending forward and back from the wings, which is a clever design choice. The outer four props are lift only for VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, purposes, and they lock themselves into an aerodynamic configuration during cruise. The inner front two props are capable of tilting 90 degrees forward to provide horizontal thrust, while the inner rear two props also tilt but primarily fold their props back to get out of the way of the airflow from the front two. Overall, I think the Wingcopter 198 is an incredible invention that's poised to revolutionize the way we think about delivering goods and supplies. It's a perfect example of how technology can be used for the greater good, and I can't wait to see how this innovative drone design will be utilized in Africa and beyond.